let me stop okay hello 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 welcome or welcome back to the channel if you are new my name is ariel how nice to meet you and i'm a black girl from live in taiwan so i don't know why i have it in my head right now but it's 7 p.m friday it's 95 degrees i ain't got no because i do have a man so let me not <laughs> let me not say that <laughs> But that's that song. Today is almost pretty much gone. I'm actually sitting here thinking about it. It is 421 on this beautiful October 5th day. I'm gonna be so real. I have done absolutely nothing but taking a shower, cleaned up just a tiny little bit, and then I'm currently reading. I am reading. Oh, I'm reading. Let me talk about that. Cause look, I got this free Kindle from my from my old coworker. She never used it. So she gave me this and I'm a little bit wired because I have been reading this book and this book is actually a part of a trilogy. It is called The Hundred Thousand Wait, The Hundreds Hundreds Thousands Kingdoms or something like that. It is by this black author. I will make sure to either insert the actual book here or something like that so y'all can see it. But I have been reading this book y'all i'm only in now i think what chapter four or chapter five i might be in chapter five now yeah so i just i literally just started this book as of last night and i'm on chapter five now the chapters are not long at all it's just i'm literally stopping talking to don about it and like letting him know like yo i just read this in chapter four why is that happening why is this happening in chapter three yada 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 like i'm just i'm so excited about it because this book is really 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 like when i say really 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 good i cannot put it down yeah this this right here this book is a banger yeah i haven't done anything else except for clean and read and probably eat I haven't really done anything today, but I was just starting this video off or like just saying hello because it's probably going to be a lot of just like B-roll shots. I am so excited to be reading this book. This book has me on my freaking seat, on the edge of my seat. That's how good it is. Yeah, that's how good it is. <laughs> just think up she thought away 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 and now it tossed her around whatever and then it literally just said uh she lowered her arms because she just got flung forward and then a child thrust his face through the entrance yeah. so yeah hands are open okay <laughs> okay What's crazy about me reading is that I I decided that I don't want to be on social media. Not don't want to be on social media, but I don't want to be, I don't want to just be aimlessly scrolling on social media. And I decided that I wanted to start reading because one, I want to enhance my vocabulary and learn some new words. But then also too, I don't feel like wasting any more time just looking at people's lives and feeling depressed about my own. Even though I am not depressed. I wanna be very, very clear. I'm not depressed about my life. My life is going great for me. But when I get on social media, I feel like sometimes I can just get in, caught up into this rabbit hole of being like, dang, I wanna go out and do that or I wanna go do this. I think social media is great when you are trying to promote yourself promote your business things like that I think it can be very toxic in a way that you would not expect so for example a lot of people when they are bored or they don't have anything to do they immediately just go to social media just to scroll not to actually like take in the information but to really just scroll because you have nothing else to do I just I don't know I just I don't want to be caught I don't want to get caught up in scrolling anymore. I don't want to be caught up in looking at other people's lives and thinking to myself like, dang, I could have, should have, would have, or I want to go do this or I want to go do that. Like, I, 
I have nobody to impress on social media. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just taking the time to just, I guess, adjust to this as far as like no social media. Um, and it's not to say that I'm not doing social media. It's just if I want to get on social media, I literally have to get on my computer. That means I have to connect my phone to my computer. I have to wait for the internet from my phone to go to my computer. And then I also have to wait for my NordVPN to log in and to also connect as well, which will give me the ability to surf the web safely without having to fear that any of my credentials or anything like that is going to be uh, stolen. So it's a lot, it's a big process and how i'm managing whether or not i even get on social media is because i still have like school work and stuff to do so i still have like stuff to do but if i get on my computer or if i get on let's say if i get on instagram or whatever it's no more than maybe five minutes because if i actually take a look at everybody who has posted there's nothing when i look at people's stories i'm just like bruh it's a lot of like repost of the same thing or like different quotes and stuff like that. So I'm not really missing anything, but yeah, I'm just taking a little break from social media. I think it's healthy and I think it's definitely worth it. If you find yourself doing the same that I was doing, pick you up a good book. I'm telling you, pick you up a good book and maybe you will forget about social media. Point blank, period. You will forget about social media. Might be a little late to the game, but um, Doritos and guacamole? Yeah, Doritos and guacamole actually might be like my new thing, cause that's good. I made some because I was like, ooh, I wanna have a snack to read. I mean, I wanna have a snack while I read, but one, this is a little bit too messy to try to eat together. But Doritos and guacamole? I might have did my big one with this. Hold on. Wait. Yeah. Oh, and these aren't just like the regular Doritos. These are spicy or flaming Doritos. So give it like a nice little kick. Normally you would have jalapenos and stuff in your guacamole if that's how you eat it, but I gotta take a picture of this because it's actually really good. Doritos and guacamole. <clears throat> yeah. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I like this little snack. This is a good one. I just need to make it less chunky. Okay. I'm gonna eat this. And then I'm going back to read. What's up, you guys? Good afternoon. You know what's crazy? Crazy about life is that just a few days ago we were having a typhoon, and you look out the window now, it's like all beautiful, all sunshiny, as if nothing just happened a few days ago. Like when I tell y'all, that typhoon was pretty intense and the crazy part is the typhoon was not even near us like it was in the south of taiwan we're in the north of taiwan the winds were so heavy and just crazy out of control like you could have been blown away but yeah yeah so it is the afternoon i didn't go to bed technically until three something in the morning because i was still up doing what reading yeah i was up um until about three o'clock just reading you know enjoying myself and trying to still figure out this book all the mysteries and all the the different twists and turns and plot twists that got that that's going on i woke up today officially at 11 o'clock and i realized that it feels so weird now that i'm off of social media for the most part i find myself checking my emails i constantly like check my emails as if i am checking the feed and that is probably a really weird habit that i would probably do for the next few weeks but it feels really good to wake up and not see something on social media and just be like oh man my instinct is my instinct is to react to this the most recent news i think that i've seen so far is like ddg and um 
Hallie Bailey I guess they've split up but it's stuff like that where that's what I'm talking about like we get so invested in other people's lives that we presume it to be our own and it's just like wait why do I care about these people who have way more money than me who got their own different lives going on why should I care what they got or what they're doing I don't so yeah for today's plan we are going to have dinner at this place called Tosteria. we were originally supposed to go to the movies to go see Joker 2 but because I won I really did not feel like going to the movies today I asked Don if we could go on Wednesday and Wednesday would actually be a lot better because even if we get home late it's okay Thursday is a holiday so we don't have to go anywhere on Thursday so it'd be really nice to just have something to look forward to for this week which is awesome i'm gonna chill out for the next hour and then get myself dressed to go to dinner and i will see y'all there come hungry okay because i'm gonna have my favorite but come hungry and enjoy We meet again. That's Don's way of saying hello, but we meet again back on this couch. I am so sleepy. Oh my gosh. I'm not even sleepy. I'm more of just tired. I'm exhausted. I've had a great weekend of staying all in the house, except for today. We did get out today. We did go somewhere. I got out yesterday. I went for a little walk too, but I am very tired. Um, but I wanted to like catch y'all up because it's been it's been technically a few hours since the last time I talked. Where I left y'all at was this afternoon when I had got up. I had read a couple of chapters. I am now finally at the halfway mark of my book. There are there are 50 chapters in the book. I'm just now getting to chapter 25. I am still confused. Like thoroughly confused i know what's going on in it but the main character be doing some like weird weird stuff like i don't know why she be doing what she doing and maybe it makes sense to her i don't know but it don't make sense to me but i'm intrigued to see how this kind of like plays out <sighs> i will probably read that tonight even though you see the tiredness on my face i'm sitting on my computer i got on social media for the first time today and i was bored <laughs> like there's nothing nothing that interests me right now yeah i think we're just gonna call it a night i think i am going to make some hot chocolate though i'm in the mood for like something sweet so i should definitely make some hot chocolates and have like a nice warm little editing night and just call it a night until the next episode my neck looks broken but yeah i think hot chocolate will do us some good so i believe i'm going to now make myself some hot chocolate and yeah See you guys in the next episode.